Hello, friends. Come on, let's go. Let's start with the color red. Do you see this shiny red apple? Red balloon. Red strawberries. A red ladybug. I'm happy. I feel mad. I feel sad. Now let's learn about the number eight. This is the number eight. Let's count fingers together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight fingers. Help us sing the A, B, C's. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Good work! Let's find some things that look like an oval. A submarine is an oval. All we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends. My friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. The more Am I big or little? Let's find out. Hello, little bird. Compared to you, I am big and you are little. Bye, bird. Look who's coming. It's elephant. Elephant is big, but I'm little. Hello, Ralph. Ralph is my size. It's Pete the puppy. Ralph is big and Pete is little. Now we know big and little. This book is called The Very Small. The Very Small was written by Joyce Dunbar and illustrated by Debbie Gliori. One day, when Giant Baby Bear was playing in the woods, he found a very small something. He picked up the very small something in his paws and gave it a good sniff. You're a very small something, said Giant Baby Bear. I'm lost, cried the very small. I want my mommy. I don't know where your mommy is, said Giant Baby Bear, but you can share my mommy if you like. And he took the very small home to his mommy and placed him in one of her very large paws. She gave a great big grin, showing all her great big teeth. What's this you've found? asked Giant Mama Bear. I want my daddy, howled the very small. I don't know where your daddy is, said Giant Baby Bear, but you can share my daddy if you like. And Giant Baby Bear took the very small from his mommy's very large paws and placed them in his daddy's even larger paws. Giant Daddy Bear stared hard through his spectacles. What's this you found, he growled. I want to go home, wailed the very small. I don't know where your home is, said Giant Baby Bear, but you can share my home if you like. Let me show you around. And Giant Baby Bear showed the very small all around his cave. He showed him the sleeping corner and the eating corner, and the scratching corner, and the thinking corner. Last of all, 
he showed him his toys in the playing corner. There you are, said Giant Baby Bear. You are so very small that I shall make a very small playground for you to play in. So the very small rode on the very small seesaw with Giant Baby Bear pressing one end with his paw. He swung on the very small swing with Giant Baby Bear pushing. And he slid on the very small slide. With Giant Baby Bear catching him at the bottom. I want my dinner, called the very small. I don't know what we're going to have for your dinner, said Giant Baby Bear, but you can share my dinner if you like. And Giant Baby Bear placed the very small next to his plate. Very small ate one whole pea and five whole crumbs of bread and drank one whole spoonful of milk. Then he felt very tired. I want my bed, said the very small. I want my bed too, said Giant Baby Bear. But first we have to take a bath. And Giant Baby Bear had a splashing bath in the great big tub, while the very small had a floating bath in the great big soap dish. Then Giant Baby Bear put the very small next to him on his pillow and fell asleep. But the very small didn't fall asleep. Giant Baby Bear was snoring so loudly that he couldn't. So he pinched Baby Bear's nose to try to stop his snoring. But to Giant Baby Bear, it felt like a tickle. And suddenly, ah, uh, ah. Uh, Choo! Blowing very small right out of the cave and across the yard and over the treetops until he landed in the very same part of the woods where he had gotten lost in the first place. And there, waiting for him, were the very small's very own mommy and daddy. They were so pleased to see him. They took him home and tucked him up in his very own bed with his very own bear, who suddenly seemed very small. If you like this story, check in the description for Number one. Let's count one dancing cat. How many cats? One. This is the number two. And two strawberries. Let's count one, two. This number is number three. Let's count three balls. One, two, 
three. Three balls. This is the number four. Let's count four bunnies. One, two, three, four. Four bunnies. This is the number five. Let's count five bees. One, two, three, four, and five. Five bees. Five frogs sitting on a log. One jumped off and it was gone. Four frogs sitting on a log. One jumped off and it was gone. Three frogs sitting on a log. One jumped off and it was gone. Two frogs sitting on a log. One jumped off and it was gone. One frog sitting on a log. It jumped off and it was gone. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.